there's a big movement towards rewilding your garden. What exactly does that mean? Does that mean that you've got to leave things to just literally go wild? No, it's about bringing the wildlife into the garden. How can we create havens within our own little spaces amongst all of the concrete? How can we plant plants and what should we be planting to attract the beautiful wildlife around us? And it's quite simple. What we've done in this bed is probably not exactly right, but it's my take on what I call a bit of rewilding. There's a lot of perennials in here that will flower and grow in succession. So everything is not in flower at once, although it might look like that. A prime example is this little status, the Limonium parisia, which is a firm favorite. Some of its flowers are really mature, but you can see there's still loads of promise to come. So those plants, what we call with legs, coming up and popping up in between, which we just sowed a seed, are the beautiful little cornflowers. This is a double cornflower, and you can see that they're starting to pop up in between. Not only are they gorgeous, but they create a bit of change in texture. And I know that the birds, and especially the butterflies, are going to love this. The Salvia Salmia, which is probably the only true shrub in this garden, besides um, the little cabaret at the back, which is that grass. They are the main shrubs. The sunbirds go mad. I mean, early in the morning when we're sitting on the veranda, they are in here and tussling for the little flower that has the sweetest nectar. And in between, we've got a few succulents that are dotted around. And what a strange combination. But the thing is, when they flower, and when an echeveria flowers, you know they're magnets for aphids. The aphids just come along and they simply love them. What comes along after the aphids? You got it. All the little birds, they come along and they munch them up and they do the job just perfectly. So, all in all, there's something for everyone. There's some nectar, there's something for the butterflies, there's something for the little insect-eating birds, and of course, when the cabaret flowers, the seeds, they just devour. And that, my friends, is how we create a rewilding, or in turn, a pollinator, or what we call a wildlife garden. If you really want to add that little bit of extra, so in other words, just lift your game slightly to encourage all the wildlife into your garden, why not try this little click-up system? It's so convenient. All you do is put in the main pole. There's the option of the bird feeder with seed. Of course, you can always use the bug hotel, which is super cute. There's even a rain gauge option. And the last interchangeable item is the garden torch, which for me is an absolute winner. Where there's fire, I'm there. And besides that, it comes with this cool little gadget, which simply just clicks on to the main arm. And as they say in the classics, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs>